What's up ladies and gentlemen and Finkwala is around the corner if you want to save big on your next purchases be it wild calls or generally just skins make sure to check out the link in the description below you can claim these easy and super low prices with the code Kirks10 and with that you save a lot of money especially on the European server more than I think 40% ish but yeah check it out do yourself a favor and save some big buck on getting the best skins incoming with the next event but now let's take a look at Rengar. Rengar has been or has been turned into one of the most broken early game, mid game and late game demonic champions that Wild Rift has seen. And what they did to the Rengar is basically absolutely unholy. His first ability is now a crit and he, thanks to the nerf to Viego, is probably now the apex predator in the jungle. But what changed and what items do you actually want to go for? Crit is the way on Rengar and crit just feels so unbelievably good, but there's one thing you do beforehand. You actually want to have at least Dustblade. Trinity Force is a very optional item, you don't really have to go for it, you can go for Dustblade into crit immediately, but Trinity Force is such a feels good item in general. Trinity Force just has insane stats for most of your champions in this game. And just having the Sheen passive makes it so much easier to clear jungle, to deal consistent DPS, and all the stats of Triforce are unbelievably good, and just for the price you get them. You just ba you basically get everything for, well, one item. But now, what makes the newest Rengar such a problematic pick? So in the distant past, as I said earlier in a video already, you need to always have your first stack come from a brush jump. If you do not jump from a brush, you will not gain a ferocity stack. Now you gain a dedicated ferocity stack whenever you jump from a brush, be it on your second, third or fourth stack. So that way you don't actually grief your combo and hardlock yourself on free ferocity. If you happen to um, already have a stack as you start your combo. The next thing is you can actually jump and use your bowler while jumping while also revealing. You see, Akali got revealed by the empowered bowler of the Rengar, so she can't really do anything. She got combo bowler and she got revealed in the fog of, uh, in her, um, what is it called, smoke bomb? And then she's just an easy snack for the Twisted Fate and the teammate. Now we see a big play top lane. This could be a potential Rengar domination play. Pops the ultimate. Who does he find? You can't jump away from him when there's a bush. Ooh, gets CC'd by the pike. It's not gonna be enough though. Gets a free kill here. Now will run after the pike has barely any HP left, but goes in again, goes in for a combo and picks up the assist. Sona gets the kill. But this is overall a pretty good outcome for them. Now I just have to just stay super far away just in case something happens. They are zooming. There's a flash happening. There's an ultimate happening. Akali's probably gonna go out. Maybe gets one kill back. Yeah, she trades one for one. But since we have a shared assist pool on Twitch, or rather on Twisted Fate, they made more money than the Akali gained. And obviously there's a wave to be taken afterwards as well, which we also have to factor in. And Rengar is just such a funny champion, and unironically, if you look at the bottom left of the camera, you see he's cosplaying Rengar in real life with uh, some cute cat ears, you know? But yeah, um, Akali popped Shroud, we see it on the minimap because she appears and disappears all the time, which means now, if she walks up too far, she just immediately dies. Rengar is looking for potential play here, it's very hard to force a play onto the Trinity because there's ultimate. And diving at Trindamir, who is going to be invulnerable for up to 5 seconds, or well, for rather 5 seconds, is quite a feat you do not really accomplish with the champions you have here. You're not tanky enough to actually do this. Meanwhile, we see a potential gank on mid lane by the set with the Akali and Twisted Fate. Quick little double camp domination, and we pop on the hunt, who is going to fall. He stays out of distance, finds the Kaiser. Obviously, he doesn't want to go on these crits. Excuse me. Why is he critting for 300 with the boots and the phage and the sheen? Why is his crit so high? What? This champion is 
insane. You can't tell me that this is okay. You really can't. And he will demolish this... What is the pike starting? Does he actually get a kill? No way he actually gets the kill with the combo. Oh, well, that's kind of awkward, because Sona brought him right here. They can't really stop him from doing the dragon. Oh, gets a free kill. I guess it was all planned after all. The bowler connects as well. Poor Renga, what are we going to do? Oh, that one jumps away. We get another... Double ferocity, blah, 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 double raw combo, ferocity raw combo, savage raw combo. Here we are. And he just doesn't die. Bro just doesn't die. It's too much damage. It's Look, he's just chilling. He's like, ah, oh, well, just another day on the job. You know how it goes. And every single Rengar one trick is pissed and happy at the same time because Rengar has become so OP, but he's so OP that he's permabanned. So what can you do? Now, Rengar mains are in a state where they're like constantly thinking, okay, what champion can I play? I want to play my champion, I want to play Rengar, but they can't play Rengar because it's banned or picked. Pops the ultimate, can't really jump the pike because he would just jump away. Yeah, nearly one shot by the way. Good one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Twisted fates. <laughs> he just hits him with the question mark for good reason. And now Renga goes back into the jungle, Omega speed farming, and we have Dustblade in base. The damage must skyrocket right now because... Keep in mind, Dustblade has bonus physical damage when you jump. It has super high lethality, 18. He also has 13 from sudden impact and pen boots, as well as his ultimate, which is also flat pen. So the moment he touches anything that is not a tank, it will just immediately explode. And this guy is going to make it even more powerful with a sense reaver, which supposedly is scaling your first ability as you jump in and your ultimate as well. El Twitcho. He doesn't really want the pike because the pike has a too easy way to escape, no? Hits the bowler though. Well, flash abuser. Pike is super tanky champion. Like, he has such high base armor compared to all other champions. It's quite the insane champion. Renga zooming around to Wukong is fighting. The Trindemir, Trindemir ult is now going on cooldown, is gone now, 150 gold only. And yeah, they still don't have any anti-healing, as it seems, against uh, Rengar. Which makes it pretty difficult to actually kill that guy. Yeah, it's just too much damage, he just immediately one-taps them. He hopes that the Akali goes into the Shroud, doesn't go for it. Just focuses on the turret, it's Rengar after all, he just one-taps these with these. The Sona aggressive flash, oh well Kaiser. You are done, look at the damage this champion is doing, this is so unholy. This is absolute insanity. And to make it even worse, now he picks up Mortal Reminder, which means even more armor pen. And even more armor pen means <laughs> infinite amounts of damage. Nice sidestep here onto the hook. Because he has so much flat pen already. He'll be picking up the next dragon, and this should be an Infernal Soul in after the next dragon, right? And Infernal Soul, this game, that sounds like 
absolutely crazy. Nice ultimate by the Sona along the range, just waltz in there and uh, pick up a quick little kill. Ah, uh, well, Pike Pike nearly died, by the way. Ah, uh, Pike is too fast. Trindemir? I don't know if that is what you want, but actually, there's uh, an Ignite button, and Ignite is kinda OP. Against Rengar, at least. Look, he has a little pocket zoner. That one did no damage to Wukong. Crazy. Tower is gone, takes massive damage, however. I need to be mindful, this is like a very big throw situation. Now they need to prepare the next top wave. And when they prepare the next top wave, they can play for Nasher. Uh, I don't think that this Rengar build can solo Nasher, I don't, I don't think it has enough sustain. A Bloodthirster would be enough, like with Bloodthirster I think he can. But he's going to go full all out Omega crit. He's had enough. Bro has had enough. He doesn't want this no more. Locates another, like, I think this is one. Whoa! <laughs> oh, yeah. 100 gold, by the way. You just sent that one into the Shadow Realm pretty quickly. Faster than Yu Gi Oh! could uh, ever do so when the series still add. 1413 crypt. Uh huh. And we don't even have Infinity Edge. Yeah. Akali damage though, and now we just instantly move into the next game. 3,205 challenger players, that is insane! All we have on the global server, rather on Europe, it's like a handful of people. And in the top 20, by the way, in the top 20, 7 people have been banned for map hacking. That is... I don't know, man, that is so absurd. I really don't know, it's actually... It's pathetic. But it is what it is. Can't really do too much about it. Another golem start here. Using smite again on the first camp? No, this time he doesn't. In the last clip he did. Which also means he doesn't have the ferocity queue for red buff. Aw, oh, he doesn't reach. Yeah. He does not reach. With the power of uh, our observant eyes, we knew that beforehand. Unfortunately, he didn't, so he lost a flash. And time. A lot of time. Which is pretty um, painful for jungling if you lose time. Because time is options. And options, uh, well, make your games a lot easier if you actually have these options. Aww. The KFC is not treating that cat really well today. He doesn't get the full reset onto the chicken camp. Luckily, it is only wall drift, so you don't get punished too hard for this. We need to be mindful. I, I believe as long as he manages Ferocity well, Talon can't really do anything to him. Because Talon combo will just be completely mitigated by the power of Ringa W. Oh no. The Garen made the mistake he thought he needed to see in order to know, so he lost even more HP. So now they oh the cannon now forgot that there might be a Rengar here. Okay, he's safe. 
Bex looking for an angle though, doesn't have ult. Has the fear available though. Fears him into the tower. He gets the level up from the local XP. Ah, he got so fortunate. Yump. And another. Oh, no yump. Does he yoink the scorpion? He is a fiend. And now his bot lane will die to Talon. Bye bye. Oh, they're smart. They're actually backing off completely. They're actually backing off completely. That's pretty good. Because if they stayed close from the get-go, they would have just died. Cannon doesn't get a kill with his ultimate. That is a massive loss and he gets blue smited to death. Now the bot lane is still in a real big pickle. But Rengar also knows about the respawn time of the jungle here. For some reason, the Vax is being killed by Renekton, even though Renekton walked over a wall. That is a crime against humanity. And the bot lane also gets double killed. That is just a severe laner difference. He pre-stacked his ferocity stacks, locates the Caitlyn, gets a quick kill onto the Caitlyn, will probably not get the Janna here. Yep, he won't get it, but he got a 5 round goal shutdown onto the Caitlyn, which is pretty worth. Pretty pretty worth. Back to clearing jungle, resetting for components. You'll uh, have Phage and uh, a little bit of Stinger. Old in 24. He's reasonably fed. He can most definitely carry this game. Now Talon on the way, Vex hits the ultimate up there, but Talon is also coming, sadly. Well, it's actually quite... Oh my god, that's really good by the Vex. She doesn't die and they use so many cooldowns. What is... What is bro doing? Cannon just hurt himself in confusion. And now Talon will probably die as well. Yep, he dies. And we yoink away the Krak camp as well. We see Ash here with a rotation play. Bola connects. Ash will also hit them with the slow. But now Caitlyn is here. There's just one issue now. It's really difficult to play this Herald with all the people here. Okay, he doesn't have any information about the Talon. Cannon is coming soon as well. I don't think he can continue. He has to wait. No? Oh. Okay, team gap. Oh, she missed. Pain. I mean, to be fair, his team was able to completely rotate around the map because they already lost tier one. Now Renga can play for top tower, not use his turret for that one. I mean, he still has jungle debuff, so it doesn't really do too much for him. Yoinking away this jungle is pretty good, though. It's a lot of extra income and denying enemies some gold. He also has ult to just run away. And maybe if, if, he, if he's giga efficient, he can now rotate back into top lane and take even more gold. Or is he now trapping? Oh, he's trapping. Hello. You won't run. And you die. Oh my god, he pops the hex gate. And takes away... Now he pops the tower now, right? For platings. And then he goes to one-shot the tower, I think. I can't. <laughs> Champion, bro. No, oh, he still had ult. That's awkward. But yeah, this champion, bro. Trinity Force. <laughs> Only Trinity Force and Pen Boots. And he does this to a Renekton. Talon spotted. He's getting the Marciard. Outplayed, bro. Nearly <laughs> died. So dumb. Uh, we love Wild Roof, don't we? You are so fast with the ferocity movement speed changes. You're zooming so unreal fast. <laughs> it's 
such a sight to behold. He has a fully completed dustplate now. If he touches Caitlyn, I think she just instantly dies. She just disappears. She just vanishes into whatever. He will stack Ferocity. Maybe he'll pre-stack Ferocity here on this one as well. Maybe he does it slow. Uh, he doesn't get it uh, to four stack, but luckily the crap is here. Yeah, he's keeping the ferocity stacks just for proactive play. Pops the ult, sees the cannon, will press Q, will one shot him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a good idea to let Rengar Q one shot people, bros. That is definitely the play. Right, games, you are cooked. Okay, Vex doing some heavy lifting in the mid lane. Apparently still alive and both junglers just uh, play the side lane. <laughs> the side lane game. I'll push this. No, I'll push this. No, this is table tennis. Yeah, but you already know Renga is left alone with the tower. Not for long. At least the tower is not for long. And you also know that red buff must be available. There it is. And then he can just go for another quick kill with his ultimate. He'll pre stack on this thing as well. Who will fall for this? Bye bye, Caitlyn. Oh, oh, so close. That ult doesn't kill. Another 3.6k in the bank, even more after he clears the jungle. Another mortal reminder pickup on the horizon. Nice English horizon. Horizon. Yes, we are Verizon. Verizon. We are trolling. We're just trolling. But yeah, it's a side lane jungle situation as per usual. Does he pop all to look for someone? Yeah, he does. He just nearly one shots at Renekton. He has 100 armor, which lets me assume that he might have played Steel Caps. So, if that damage just was through plated Steel Caps, you know we have a problem. Because anyone else would have just died. Ah, this, this champion is crazy steroid material. It's like easily the, the, the most OP champion right now. And Viego is still broken, by the way. So, you know. Or Renekton. You need to be careful. Okay. Yes, he is just taking enemy jungle again. Look at the damage he does to these camps. It's unreal. Pops ult. Renekton will just escape, right? Huh. Ah, uh, yeah. I guess Renekton doesn't just escape. Renekton just uh, was banished into a trash can. Thrown in there. Come on, even though he was 7-0 at that point, that is quite a lot of damage. Renekton has plated steel caps. This should not be the case to that extent that Renga just spits on him. Like, so fast. I like, guess you should win, but... Through plated and Renekton ult? That's a little bit uh, insane. But I guess uh, Armor Pen do be hitting hard this patch. With Sudden Impact, Pen Boost, Drakta and his ultimate. It's just so funny to see both junglers permanently side lane farming. Ah, uh, goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> he just immediately died. Immediately. It was not even, like, anything. He just died. And 
the funniest thing is that they actually buffed Rangold cooldown as well. They're, they're just crazy in the heads. Oh, Janna, please, no. Don't go here. Janna, my beloved. No. Oh, Janna. My love. She just died. And we go for another. Oh, this is. This is probably going to be an in play. Never mind. Oh my god. The damage. The sidestep. Meanwhile, the team does. <laughs> <laughs> does Nasher classic grief play that could have uh, put the game into a very bad spot if it goes really wrong? Fortun fortunately for him, uh, it didn't happen, so they're safe. And he has completed IE. Do it. Yes. 18,000 gold at roughly 30 minutes and 20 seconds. His farming is insanely fast. And now he's just looking for another victim. Another bounty to... Well, it's not even bounty. It's just another victim to be claimed. 1840. Yes, sir. Ranga auto attack. Oh, he doesn't get into range. So sad. It was a full HP Garen ultimate. Hmm. This is awkward now. Renga can't go in. Guess we go back to pushing. Can he go there? Needs to be careful. Oh! <laughs> Never mind. The crocodile needs to be careful. Oh, Caitlyn. Oh, Janna. Whoever appears in front of him just dissipates. Like, this champion is, is unbalanced. Like, I'm sorry. It is just busted. Wildrift's balancing approach sucks. And yeah, we're at the end of this video. Thank you all for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And obviously, don't forget to check out the Discord link in the description below. If you want to save big time on the Fiend Queller event and do not want to overpay pointlessly into Riot's pockets, make sure to check out the Discord link in the description below. We make sure to get you sorted with cheap skins, cheap wildcards, and everything you want. And as per usual, thank you and have a beautiful day.